I've always wondered what would happen if someone was to take massive actions over a short period of time. What I mean is, if you decided to take actions maybe for a number of days consecutively or for a short period of time with a lot of intensity on that particular task, what exactly would happen and what kind of results would you probably get? This would apply in every aspect of your life, but in this particular context, I would wish to find out what would happen if you did this when it comes to content creation, either in blogging or creating video content. In this video, you and I are going to explore the idea of a 120 day content challenge and later in the video, three reasons why you should do it. But first, what is a 120 day content challenge and is it better for you or is there a different or a better way? It is a content marketing challenge where you publish one piece of content whether it is a blog post, a YouTube video or a podcast recording each and every day for 120 consecutive days. And this is the challenge that I actually want to use to restart this particular YouTube channel. I am starting a 120 day content challenge on this particular YouTube channel, meaning that for the next 120 days, I am going to publish one piece of video content each and every day. What this means is that starting today, we will be attempting this 120 content creation challenge. This is the most ambitious project that I have undertaken when it comes to this YouTube channel because I'm trying to push myself, I'm trying to figure out or find out what would happen if I focused on this for 120 consecutive days. And if you come along, if you are part of this particular journey, you are also going to find out what will happen and probably you can be able to apply this particular concept in your content creation as well. Whether you are doing blogging or you also are thinking of starting a YouTube channel. I want to get into the essence of video marketing in Kenya, into the essence of video content creation in Kenya with the larger goal of building an income generating online business as a Kenyan. And I know you might be wondering why anyone, yourself or even why I would be interested in this particular challenge. One of the things that I have learned when it comes to content creation is that being committed to your craft or work is very important. And when starting out, you probably do not have the discipline, the habits, and even the routines that can help you create content consistently, content that would help you be able to attract customers for your online business in Kenya. Content that would help you when it comes to generating business leads, and attracting customers to your online business. Like everything else in life, you need to practice to make this thing work. The 120 day content challenge is aimed at helping you actually move from being a spectator to becoming an active content creator. You can do this through taking daily action. It is about training your mind and training yourself to becoming a person who takes action when it comes to creating either video content or writing a blog post on a daily basis. This content marketing challenge is not just about pushing out quantity of content. It is also about creating and developing your cadence when it comes to creating quality content. When you are learning something new, you need to practice and repeat some of the moves almost on a daily basis. You see it with athletes when they are practicing, they are making the same moves each and every practice session. Sometimes even what you might consider to be very basic moves. Why? Because they understand that it is through repetition that you actually become very good at what you are doing. And this applies to creating content or when it comes to content marketing for your online business. Each day becomes an opportunity for you to be able to carve out your hesitations and doubts, to learn new skills and to become better at creating content. 
You are constantly improving when it comes to building your income generating online business. and the content you are creating becomes the foundation of your online business. By flexing your content creation muscles on a daily basis, people who are into fitness or artists who go to the gym on a regular basis would understand this particular concept that you need to be taking action constantly to be able to build your muscles. That applies to content creation as well and to building a business on a daily basis. So I am going to share with you three reasons why I am doing this 120 day content challenge and why I think I naturally would persuade you to do the same or at least a fashion of it but the concept and the principles remain the same. You need to do whatever you have decided to do on a daily basis for 30, 60 or 90 days consecutively. You might start with 30 days, 60 days or 90 days. This challenge works and it has worked for me when it comes to creating blog content, creating my blogs. And for the people that I am working with when it comes to creating their own blogs, they know that we are doing a similar thing. We are creating 120 pieces of content in 120 days. So this is an idea that has worked. And for me particularly, I want to do the same or apply the same concept when it comes to this YouTube channel. Because I would want to also find out would it work for someone who wants to start a YouTube channel from scratch in Kenya? And this particular concept or idea is actually not an original idea. It's not something that I have created. It is something that has been done very many times by very many different content creators from all over the world. So it is an idea that has been tested and has proven to work for different people which makes it a very unique concept because the results you get are very different from the results other people get. But more importantly, it is who you become when you attempt this particular challenge. And to be honest, this is not a very easy thing to do because you see, if you are busy with other things, you are having a business that you are already learning, you are employed or doing a 9 to 5 job, you are a parent, whether stay at home or otherwise. You will need to become a very disciplined person and especially very good when it comes to managing your time. Because you need to audit your 24 hours in a day and find time when you can be able to do this. That might mean waking up a little bit earlier or doing it during your breaks during the day or sleeping a little bit later if you are actually going to do this. Engaging in the 120 day content challenge provides you with a structured framework for consistent content creation. You are committing to creating content on a daily basis for 120 days consecutively. And to be honest, this is not a very easy thing to do. Because you see, if you are busy with other things, you are having a business that you are already learning, you are employed or doing a 9 to 5 job, you are a parent, whether stay at home or otherwise. You have things that you are already doing, which means if you are going to do this for 120 consecutive days, which almost translates to about four or four and a half months, you will need to become a very disciplined person and especially very good when it comes to managing your time. Because you need to audit your 24 hours in a day and find time when you can be able to do this. That might mean waking up a little bit earlier or doing it during your breaks during the day or sleeping a little bit later if you are actually going to do this. You may also try and employ bashing where you sit down one particular day and create a number of content. Well, when doing the challenge, probably not encouraged because then you are sort of beating the system, but it is a concept that you can do. However, the best approach would be to actually create a piece of content each and every day because you need to train yourself to become the person who does that kind of thing. So as I mentioned, this is not going to be easy to pull off. 
and a lot of things are going to change within you. This is the kind of a challenge that is going to test you a lot. It is going to push you to the limits in terms of your mental strength, in terms of your content ideas. And if you are doing YouTube, you are going to also face your greatest fear, which might be to be on camera or to at least learn how to be on camera. If you are doing blogging or if you pick blogging as your path when it comes to content marketing, then it is going to similarly challenge you a lot because you will be required to create one piece of content each and every day for the next 120 days. And based on my experience when it comes to blogging, it is equally not an easy thing. To sit down and light out a helpful piece of content for your blog each and every day is not going to be easy. But of course today there are tools that make it a little bit smooth. For clarity, I have done this challenge when it comes to blogging, so I know how it works in blogging. However, for me, I want to do this when it comes to this YouTube channel. So the concept is the same, platform is what is different. For the individuals that I'm working with when it comes to blogging or who we are working with to build their blogs. This is the same approach that we are using for the first four to six months. We are getting into a challenge of creating one piece of blog post every day for six months. And when you do this content marketing challenge, you develop discipline, you develop habits, you develop routines that are going to be with you for a very long period of time, especially if you are a beginner when it comes to content creation. Building an online business in Kenya, an online business that can be able to generate for you an extra source of income or that can become your full-time source of income requires you to work really, really hard and sometimes to also work very smart. And content marketing is one of the ways in which you can leverage your laptop, your phone or internet connection to be able to generate business leads as well as drive business sales. And whether you are doing blog posts, whether you are creating video content like me or you are getting into podcasting, one of the reasons of having this kind of structure is because you want to use it to practice your constant creation skills. You want to familiarize yourself with whatever platform that you have picked. In my case, or in this particular case with regard to this YouTube channel, that would be YouTube platform. In your case, if you are doing blogging, that would be understanding how Google works, how the entire bucket of your website works. If you are looking at podcasting, similar thing. You need to understand how the podcasting platform that you are using works, how the tools that you are going to be using operate. All this is done in this particular 120 day content challenge because you are going to be facing those challenges each and every day. And as you start and as you go along with the process, you become better at understanding what is working and probably what is not working, creating a cadence when it comes to your content creation, as well as knowing which tools are working for you. This is what I mean by that. If, for example, you are using a phone to record your videos, you are going to get very good at understanding how your phone operates, the setting that you need in different kind of weather conditions or in different settings. Similarly, if you are using a microphone, you need to know how that works. The same case applies if you have bought a camera. You need to know the settings that you need to put, whether you are doing your recording inside the house or when you are doing it in the open air. All these things, you will become very good at them and you'll understand them better when you get into this content marketing challenge. Doing them on a daily basis for a prolonged period of time, repeating the same process each and every day, it's going to be very difficult for you not to become good at it. For me, this involves getting back to this YouTube guide. After almost a whole year of not uploading content on my YouTube channel, 
I will explain to you why I stopped or why I stopped uploading video content in another video. So keep watching this content challenge because that video is coming up. But the most important aspect of this particular challenge is that you are going to train yourself to create content, to develop your content creation muscles, to innovate, to experiment and to innovate when it comes to new content ideas or techniques. You are also going to start getting feedback from your audience. This comes in the form of data analytics, which will help you to understand what is working and what is not working, probably what you might need to do more or what you might need to do less. And by the end of this content challenge, it is my hope that actually I'll be better when it comes to creating video content. And for you, you should also aim to be better at whatever content you are creating, whether that is blogging, whether that is YouTube, or whether that is podcasting. Whatever it is that you have chosen to do, try it for 120 consecutive days and then analyze the results. So I would also encourage you to get into the 120 day content challenge. And if we are already working together when it comes to creating your income generating online blog, then I would encourage you to continue doing what we have agreed upon when it comes to your content strategy and content plan. Repetition breeds confidence and by consistently flexing your content creation muscles through this 120 day content challenge, you are going to gradually become comfortable and better with the process, which is why it is always important to try this particular challenge. When you consistently create content for a long period of time, in this case 120 days consecutively, you are truly going to become better at the process of creating content, which is the foundation of your building an online business in Kenya. You need to be able to create content and to get into the creator economy if you have any interest in building an income generating online business, or if you already have products or services that you want to transition into the digital marketplace. You are going to become better at it because this is going to become part of your day-to-day -day activities. If you are going to build an income generating online business in Kenya, you are going to become comfortable and have confidence when it comes to creating content. In fact, yesterday I was having this conversation with a friend of mine who has gotten into this content creation business. And the conversation was allowed the idea that if you are consistent, if you are posting daily, if you are getting a little bit better with understanding your audience and creating relatable content, it becomes easier for your audience to engage with what you are creating. And that data point is very important because it helps you as a content creator to then understand what you need to be doing. And that's how the 120 day content challenge can come into play when it comes to your online business. You can use it as a launch pad. You can use it to build confidence. You can use it to be able to understand what it is that you can be able to do, the kind of content you can be able to create, and how far you probably can push yourself. I'm not saying it is easy, because you will need to create time each and every day to actually create your piece of content. However, if you really want to earn extra income, if you want to make money through an online business, then you have no choice but to do such kind of stuff. And as I have mentioned, over time, you are going to learn the ideas, the tips, and the strategies that you need to use to create better and high quality content. You will be able to use that content to actually grow your online presence and start attracting or building an audience of like-minded individuals. And these are your target audience. The key is creating content that adds value to your target audience's life. You want to become a content creator or an online entrepreneur who adds value. 
and your content should reflect that value. You need to be very deliberate in creating content that solves problems, that informs them of opportunities, or just provides general information about the topic that you are dealing with, about the topic that you are creating content on, or the niche that you are focusing on. Confidence in anything comes from doing things, from taking actions. And if you look at your life right now, there are a lot of things that you do with confidence because you have been taking actions on them for a very long period of time. That confidence has come from the very many times that you have done that particular thing, to the point that now is actually almost second nature to you. Think of the first time that you were learning how to cook eggs. You probably burned them the first time. I know I did when it came to mind. And over time, you have become so good at cooking eggs that right now, you probably don't even think when you do it. The process is so quick, the process is so straightforward, and you do not need to be taught how to do that again. That is the same approach you should apply when it comes to creating your content as a foundation for your income generating online business in Kenya. Just start, do it many times, and improve along the way. The 120 day content challenge is a catalyst for growth, and it is a challenge that you need to incorporate in your startup phase if you would want to achieve growth with your online business. And come to think of it, maybe there is something that someone should be able to do each and every calendar year. You should try a content challenge for quite a number of days consecutively. In my case, this 120 day content challenge is the way I am going to restart this YouTube channel. And I want you to join me on this particular journey. I want to find out what would happen. I want to see how this will go. I am not naive to think that it's going to be easy. I don't think that it's going to be easy because even the blogging challenge that I've done before has not been easy. However, I am always encouraged by the results that I get, both positive and negative, because those data points are very important when it comes to building whatever business that you're going to build. especially if you are keen to build an online income stream. When it comes to building confidence in creating your content and in building an online business in Kenya, you have to start with taking actions. And actions come first, which is one of the most difficult things to do. That is why doing this 120 content day marketing challenge is very powerful because it's going to force you to actually take actions. While you are creating helpful content for your audience, doing this challenge is also about investing in yourself. You have to keep this one promise to yourself. I am not saying that it is going to be easy, and I am speaking from personal experience as someone who still has imposter syndrome when it comes to some things in life. But when you realize that confidence is not something that you are born with, it is a skill, it is something that you can acquire, it's going to make you work at it by taking small daily actions. When starting out, you do not have confidence, but the more you exercise or train at building confidence, the better you are going to become. With this content marketing challenge, you are going to become better at creating content, at creating blog articles, at creating YouTube videos, at building an audience, and at building email marketing funnels that are going to help you build confidence with your target audience or the community that you are building. Ultimately, you are going to become good or have confidence at building an income generating online business in Kenya that is based on content that you are creating. If you are also interested in doing something similar, whether it is with your blog, with your YouTube channel, with your social media post or podcasting, then we can agree that your interest and mine are at least now aligned. 
and we can make this challenge part of our content marketing strategy. When you get into this 120 day content challenge, you are going to confront some of the limiting beliefs that you might have about your own capabilities when it comes to creating content or building an online side hustle in Kenya. But you might ask yourself, what is a limiting belief? A limiting belief is a state of mind or belief about yourself that restricts you in some way. These beliefs are often false accusations you make about yourself that can cause a number of negative results. What this means is simply that there are things that probably you think you cannot do, but not because you have never tried to do them, but because you have convinced yourself you have never tried it, you have not even attempted to do it to see if you can or you cannot do, but for some reason you believe you cannot do it. That is the same situation when it comes to building an online business in Kenya. You probably think that you cannot do it, or you don't have everything that you need to do it, or that you are not the type of a person who can actually build a successful online business in Kenya. That is a limiting belief. That is one thing that you need to unlock. You need to remove that limiting belief. And the best way to do this is to do that thing that you think you cannot do. And when it comes to creating content, that is the foundation of an income generating online business in Kenya. Having a 120 day content challenge is the best way to actually overcome your limiting beliefs. You are going to create a piece of content each and every day for the next 120 days. If you do this daily, by the end of that particular challenge, you will realize that actually you can be able to create content. You realize that there are a lot of things that you had assumed that you cannot do when it comes to creating content that can generate leads, that can drive traffic to your blog or to your business, and that can be able to make you money. If you ask any person today who is creating content online or who has an online business that is making money, whether that is based on a blog or on a YouTube channel or a podcast or an e-commerce, you're going to realize or they will tell you that they were not born as content creators. They were not born probably as entrepreneurs. This is something that they have picked up. You train yourself to become the kind of person that you want to become. Yes, I acknowledge that you may have certain advantages or a person may have certain advantages when it comes to the environment that they were brought up which would encourage a certain career, a certain type of business, whatever it is that they would want to do. But each one of us has what one of the books calls unfair advantages. You have your own advantages as well. You just need to tap into them to be able to overcome your limiting beliefs and create an income generating online business in Kenya. So now, let me share with you something interesting, which I know would apply to anyone who is actually interested in creating an online business in Kenya. Whether you want to use a blog, a YouTube channel, or a podcast as the foundation when it comes to content marketing for your online business, you are going to get into what I would call phase one. And phase one is very interesting because in this phase, you are very excited about the thing or the project that you are getting involved in. You can be able to see the promise of the money that you are going to make, the lifestyle that you are going to create, and how probably this is going to transform your life into a different kind of a situation that you currently are in. Maybe you want one extra money. You want to increase your income streams to add to what you are getting either from your current business or from your 9 to 5 job that you are employed in. This is a phase where you have a lot of blind optimism. And this is because there are things that you do not know that you do not know. So you are excited and you know for sure that you are going to make money and you are starting your process of creating an income generating online business in Kenya.
but that's before you get into phase two and phase two is very interesting phase two is the stage where reality hits you you then start to realize that actually creating an income generating online business in kenya or anywhere is actually not easy you realize that creating youtube content creating blog articles is a slog is not an easy thing to do and also you get exposed to the fact that there are a lot of things that you do not know and one of the things that i have realized is that human beings are very bad when it comes to learning new things especially if you have been in a certain industry or in a career for a long period of time you get yourself into this for situation where you think and believe that you know stuff when actually you do not know you only know the stuff that you have been doing so when you move into a different industry when you try to do something new you need to be humble enough to realize that you are starting from scratch you are actually a beginner so in this second phase you come face to face with the reality that there are skills that you do not have there are a lot of things that you do not know when it comes to creating content when it comes to how blogging works to how podcasting works to how youtube works and does not matter the level at which you are in your previous career in whatever thing that you are doing when it comes to these platforms you need to become a beginner it's like almost going back to nursery school when you have actually graduated from university it doesn't look good and probably you feel a little bit arrogant thinking that you shouldn't be taught the things that are being taught in nursery school but the truth is if you want to actually build something online you actually need to go to the basics now in this particular case you come to face to face with the reality that you need to actually learn a lot there's a huge skills gap and a knowledge gap that you need to fill and you have to make a choice do you continue with this path or do you give up and the most interesting part is if you analyze most of the projects that you have started and abandoned you have abandoned them in this particular stage this is the stage where most people give up on whatever it is that they have started because it becomes clear it is not as easy as you thought in phase one it is not as quick as you might have imagined the results are not coming as quickly as you thought or whatever dream had been so to you things are not working as probably your initial plan and at this particular stage you are going to give up you are going to be tempted to give up at this stage it is likely that you are going to give up because it is tough it is brutal at this stage you also have not achieved what you might call a critical mass that would then attract a larger audience towards either your youtube channel or your blog or your podcast which means a lot of people actually do not care about what you are doing so if you are the kind of a person who is validated by external metrics this is going to be very tough on you because you are going to create videos that you expect to get a lot of for example views and then you get 5 10 20 100 views that is going to mess up with your ego so if you have not come to terms with the realities of what might be happening in this particular stage it's likely that you are going to give up content creation is a very lonely journey and it is likely that most of the people in your circle your friends your relatives your colleague at work do not actually even understand what it is you are doing so these initial stages are going to be very lonely before you build a network of other content creator whether they are doing blogging youtube or podcasting or any other form of content before you build that network you are going to be in a very lonely phase and you need to come to terms with that you are going to wake up very early you are going to work very long hours if you are doing it during the day and you are going to also sleep very late as you create content as you build your online business and this can be very boring and very tiring at the same time 
you will not be seeing the results that you had imagined. Let's assume you are starting a blog. You have created or you will be creating a number of articles or an article each and every day. That article for it to drive traffic to your business will require to be ranked on Google. It will require to be indexed on the search engines. And that sometimes takes time, especially for a new blog. It may take 3, 6, 9 or even 12 months before your article gets to the optimum traffic that can be generating for you. What this means is, you will be creating a lot of content, you will be writing a lot of blog posts, but you will not be seeing those results reflected when it comes to your traffic. And that can take a toll on you, which means you need to have internal motivation. Because at this particular phase, no one is going to be clapping for you. This applies for your podcast and this too applies to your YouTube channel. The initial phases may not be as exciting as you might imagine, but you still need to be showing up, you need to still be creating content. And that's why this 120 day content challenge is important. Because it trains you to be able to become a consistent and regular content creator. You are going to show up whether there are results or there are no results. Whether your YouTube video got views or it got none. Whether you are getting traffic to your website or you are not. You are still going to show up. Whether your podcast is getting downloaded or not you will still be able to show up each and every day for a 120 days straight. But this is now the most interesting bit. If you can be able to survive this phase, then you get into the third phase, and the third phase might be the most interesting for you. If you get to the third phase, it can only mean one thing, that you have decided to make your online business work. You have decided to almost go all in in making and building your income generating online business. You have decided to make your online business work come hell or high water. And this is a very good stage to be at. Because now you are going to start to see the results of the work that you have been doing for the past couple of months or probably for the last one year. At this stage, you start becoming very good and better with your craft, whether that is blogging or whether that is creating YouTube content or even becoming a podcaster. You are becoming good. You are understanding your audience. You are understanding the content that they enjoy, the content that creates value to them, and the content that also drives traffic to your marketing funnel. You are establishing systems of how your online business is going to work. That is a system that starts with building the audience, building the trust through email marketing, and then monetization strategies. You are crafting a system that will actually become your automated cash machine. At this stage, things are also becoming easier for you. You now can understand what it takes to create a helpful piece of content. It is becoming easier for you to create a helpful video content. It's also becoming easier for you to create a helpful blog article. You know what it takes to create one, how long it's going to take to create one, and you have established systems that make it easier for you. Now, if you are just a beginner or starting to learn how to create an online business, or if you want to use content marketing to build your income generating online business, then you need actually to aim to get to this third phase. This should be your aim. It is not going to be easy to get to this level, but you need to get there because it's at this level that then you start transforming your life. You start generating an income that you have dreamed about. You start generating business leads that you have thought about. You start getting an audience that is engaging with your content and that can also take up or buy the products or the services that you are providing. This is the stage that every content creator needs to look at.
There are a number of benefits of creating content on a daily basis, especially when you undertake the 120 day content challenge. However, what you may not also have anticipated are the challenges or the curveballs that are going to be thrown in your direction. And I got one of those curveballs on my second day of this particular challenge. This is because yesterday, while I was in the process of editing one of the videos that would have gone up on the second day, the power got lost. And for a number of hours in the afternoon, I did not have capacity to be able to edit and upload those videos. And that brought out an issue that probably I had not anticipated and something that I would want to bring to your attention just in case you might be interested or you might want to start your own daily content challenge. And the issue is that in Kenya, I think it is important to plan for when the electricity or power goes off. I know this sounds like a very small issue, but when you think about it, if the power keeps going off or if you have days when you don't have electricity or you don't have the ability to be able to power up your machines, or do the things that you need to do to be able to create content, then that particular process might be interrupted. And that means you need to actually plan ahead for the days when that might happen, which is what I actually got to realize yesterday. It became very clear to me that while you might be intentional when it comes to creating and uploading one piece of content each and every day, other factors beyond your control might actually affect that particular process. And in that regard, then it is important that as a content creator in Kenya or someone who is keen to build an online business in Kenya, then you need to create a plan or a contingency plan that would come into place when that happens. And I think that's what this has brought to my attention, that I needed to be able to adjust my plan and actually create a way in which I can still be able to upload content even the days when there are other external factors coming between me and my goal of daily uploads. This is the solution that I have thought and I think the solution that would also work for you. I am going to create three to five evergreen videos, videos on topics that are not time bound, videos that will be recorded roughly edited and actually prepared in readiness to be uploaded at a very short notice. This means that having a buffer of five videos that you can upload days when you are unable to actually create and upload a video or when you might even be feeling unwell or tired or when you have an issue like lack of electricity or power in your region. This allows you to continue uploading your videos as you had intended to do without much distraction. And I think doing that is a good solution to solve or to mitigate against days when you're unable to upload content. And I think that goes into the idea of being prepared as a business person, as an online entrepreneur. You always need to have almost like a backup plan for the things that you're doing for the systems that you are using, for the platforms or even the tools that you are going to use because those tools may not work at all times and if that happens then you need to have a way out to continue engaging or doing the business that you are doing. Creating an online business is similar to creating any other type of business. You need to have a plan and then also have a backup plan for your plan A. It's because life happens. Things will go wrong when you least expect them to do. Technology will fail you when you least expect it to do. And sometimes, the system that you are trying to use may not work. In those instances, you need to have a plan of how you are still going to achieve the daily goals that you have set for yourself. As a content creator, the ability to actually create content in advance, prepare it, and have it ready for upload at a short notice is actually a very powerful thing. 
This is because content is the foundation of your online business. You need it to be able to reach your current audience and even potential audience. Creating content for you then becomes a mission critical activity. It is the one thing that you must be able to do. And that means having a plan or a contingency plan that ensures that you have content ready to be uploaded, whether things are working, whether you have electricity or not, or whether you are working or not, you need to be able to upload content each and every day as you had intended to do from the word go. When undertaking the 120 content marketing challenge, one of the ideas that you can use to make this work is batching your content. This means creating a number of pieces of content in one sitting. Maybe you sit down and record three or four videos, or you sit down and write two or three blog articles. You may even be able to record a number of podcasts in a single day. In fact, some of the popular content creators, whether bloggers, YouTubers, or podcasters, have a system where sometimes they sit and record a number of videos or write a number of articles in a very short period of time. This allows them to be able to pull them up whenever they have a gap or when something that they intended to do does not materialize and ensuring that they are constantly uploading content or releasing content to their audience. It is a similar approach that you and I should have when creating content. Create a number of pieces that becomes your sort of security, evergreen content that can be released at any particular moment in time. Doing that would be the best way to ensure that you don't miss an upload. The fact that I missed an upload on my second day of this content marketing challenge means that on the third day, I needed to actually upload two videos. This is for the third day and also to cover for the second day. And at the same time, I will actually try very much to ensure that I am always two or three videos ahead to ensure that that situation does not arise again. As you can see, creating content has its own challenges. It has its own problems. And sometimes these are not things you will ever know or you will ever experience until you start. Which is why a lot of people actually would ask you to start and then learn as you go along. Which is a very interesting thing when you think about it. Some of the things that you need to learn, you can only learn them when you are actually taking action. When you are doing the thing. It might even be easy or sound easy in theory. However, it is only when you do it that you actually get to fully understand the scope and probably what it takes to be able to do what it is that you have been reading in books, what you have been hearing people say, or what you have always imagined things would be. Doing the thing is the only way you are actually going to find out whether it works or whether it doesn't work and the issues that arise when you are doing it. If you would want to start a blog, it is very nice to read all the blogs about blogging, to listen to people talk about it, but the best way you are going to learn is actually starting. You start creating the content, you start writing those blog posts. That way you will get to learn the things that are required to actually make it a success. You learn an idea or a concept and then you implement it on your blog. It's the same thing that I'm learning with this particular challenge when it comes to creating YouTube videos. You learn about something, then you come and implement it in real time. That way you can be able to get the feedback as you go along. Some ideas may work, others may not work, some videos will perform better than others. You may get one few, you may get a hundred few, it doesn't matter as long as you're doing and creating. Over a period of time, patterns are going to emerge and it is those patterns that then you are going to look back and use them as a data point to move a step forward.
If you are interested in learning how to make money online and how to build an income generating online asset in Kenya, there is a three step system that you need to learn, that you need to understand how it works to make this entire income generating system work. And this system involves learning three steps. First step is how to generate or get the attention of the audience. The second one is how to be able to build trust with that audience. And the third one is the ability to monetize that ecosystem. Those three systems, when they work together, you get an opportunity to be able to build an income generating online business in Kenya. You actually create an automated cash machine. This is because getting those three right, being able to build audience, being able to build trust with that audience, and then finding ways to make money from the attention you have gotten from your content online, it makes it easy for you to start creating offers and selling your products or services to that ecosystem. So these three systems are not complicated. They are easy to do. But unfortunately, it may be very tough for you to execute because it requires you to do a lot of work. And what I have observed or, or what you might observe if you study a lot of people is that we, the human beings, are extremely lazy. We do not like to do things that make us work hard. The concept that involves allowed creating an audience, building trust and monetizing that ecosystem is actually not difficult. What becomes very tough is when it comes to execution, is when it comes to doing the work. Taking actions to make this three-step system work is where many people get stuck. And it's probably also the part where you find it to be very difficult. And it's possible that you're also going to find it very tough if you try to build this system up. This is because if you study a lot of material on psychology and how our brains work, you will come to a very interesting realization that human beings are an extremely lazy lot. We are very lazy. We human beings are extremely lazy. And I mean it in this context. Our brains is wired to ensure that it protects us from things that can bring us harm. And if you take actions where you are working very hard, where you are pushing your body to the extreme, where you are working long hours, your brain will see this as a signal that is threatening your life. In that case, your brain may try to protect and preserve you by ensuring that you do not do this hard work. And that's how being lazy ends up stopping you from taking actions that could change your life. If you doubt this particular theory, and I actually suggest that you go and do a little bit more research on how brain works, you realize that there are very many situations where you have wanted to do something, you have even started taking actions, and then after a while, you have stopped pursuing that particular goal, or even taking actions that could make your life better, or actions that could make you earn extra money. This has everything to do with your entire system trying to maintain the status quo, keep you or maintaining you in the situation you already are because any action towards bettering your life almost becomes a threat to your life. And that's the way sometimes part of your brain interprets it. That's why sometimes motivation is not enough. You need more to achieve the goals that you set for yourself. If I am to go back to this particular system, the system that involves you building an audience, building trust with that audience, and then monetizing, those three steps are very critical when it comes to building your income generating online business in Kenya. And this is how it works. The first step involves you building the audience. We are living at a time that some have referred to as attention economy. This is particularly with regard to the creator economy in Kenya. You are fighting for the attention of the people or the attention of your target audience. 
And in this regard, then you need to create content that targets the particular person or the particular people that you want to help and that you would want to work with. This is where the whole concept or the whole system of building an audience comes in. You need to find ways to create a blog posts, to create social media posts, to create videos that attract that ideal person that you want to serve. And this is the foundational step. You cannot be able to actually build trust or make money online without having built the audience. So this is where you are going to spend a lot of time on. You are going to spend most of your time actually creating content. It is not easy. If you look at blogging, you will need almost six months to a year of daily content creation or creating blog posts for you to have the critical mass that is required to start attracting the traffic that you may need on your blog. Similarly, I think that same entire concept works on YouTube, which is why I am in this 120 content challenge on this YouTube channel. And the concept is very simple. I want to try and create 120 pieces of video in 120 days. And again, this is me trying to build momentum for my audience. I want to be able to build an audience of people who are interested in making money online in Kenya and who are interested in creating a system that can be able to give them financial freedom and the location freedom that they would want when it comes to building a lifestyle that they desire. And once you have been able to then create a semblance of some audience, then you need to develop a system that helps you to build trust with them. And to make this point a little bit clear to you, I would want you to consider how dating works. You meet a guy or you meet a lady and you start a conversation. The first day you meet them, you are just getting to know them, which is similar to when somebody comes across your piece of content online. If they have watched your video for the first time, they are not committed to you, they are not invested. Similarly, if somebody comes across your blog article, they don't know you, they don't care, and they are not invested or interested in, in you as an individual. However, if they continue engaging with your pieces of content, they will get to a point where they probably like you and become fond of you in terms of the content that you are creating and the value that you are providing to them. In fact, it becomes very easy for them to start engaging with you a little bit better if you can be able to help them solve the problem that they have. You are going to become friends. They start trusting that, okay, this individual can actually help me solve the problem that I have. This individual can actually help me build the business that I want to build. This individual can actually help me save more money. This individual can actually help me invest in real estate, in the stock market, in the crypto market, in the gold market. Whatever it is that you are involved in, the people you are trying to serve will start to appreciate the work that you are doing. And this is where you start building trust. And the best system that you can use to build trust when it comes to building an online business is email marketing. This is a concept that actually may require an entire video on its own. But the thing is, you need to move the conversation from whatever platform you are using into a platform where you can start having one-on-one -on -one engagement with your audience. And that is why email marketing is very important and very powerful when you are building your online business. When it comes to email marketing, there are a number of email marketing softwares and email marketing platforms that you can use. For example, I have used MailChimp in the past. I am using Aweba in one of my online businesses. And on this particular YouTube channel, I am using ConvertKit. Those are some of the email marketing platforms that are available there in the market. And there are quite a number of others that you can pick from. 
But email marketing is a tool that you can use to be able to build trust with the people that you want to serve. The third system that is very important when you are creating your online business in Kenya is the monetization aspect of it. This is probably one of the most interesting systems that you might be interested in because this involves finding ways to make money with your online business. There are quite a number of ways in which you can monetize your content, you can monetize your blog, you can monetize your YouTube channel. You can make money from the content that you are creating. That is over and above what you may get from the platforms that you are using. Making money with your online business in Kenya is very, very important because some of the money that you are going to generate is going to help you pay for your bills. It's going to help you pay for your land, for your school fees, or even fund your lifestyle. But at the same time, part of that income is going again to fund the growth of your business. Because if you are to look at this system where you're trying to build the audience, the trust and monetization as one big system, then you need some money to continue growing your audience. And this is where you can start playing aloud with advertising, you know, spending money to promote your products, spending money to promote your lead magnet, spending money to grow your audience. And you see this quite a lot on social media, on Google, on YouTube, people using adverts to actually continue to grow their audience. And that entire system can only work if you have the money for the mission. So. This system only works if you can be able to find a way to create the audience or to be able to reach your target audience, build trust with your audience, and then make money with your online business, which again, you can channel back to growth of the audience and the system starts to become a self-liquidating system that works in an automatic way. So as you can see, Building an online business in Kenya is similar to building any other business that you may have in mind. It is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It is not a way to make money next month quickly. But it is a way for you to be able to create a business that can be sustainable for a very long period of time. And it is going to require you to work probably even harder than you have ever worked. However, the results and the fruits of your hard work are going to be extremely sweet. Which is why I would urge you to actually consider having an income generating online business in Kenya. To help you start your own income generating online business in Kenya, I have created for you a 7 step framework it's a guide that you can use to start and build an online business. And to get this free guide, click the first link on the description box below. If you have enjoyed this particular video, check out this video on your screen right now and I'll see you in the next one.